All right, our smartest, welcome back. And we're here to paint our awesome little sea turtles. Hear that noise? They've been bisked, okay? They're still really fragile. So you have to be really careful because if they do drop, they will break, okay? And so now I get to paint my hawksbill sea turtle. Now we do have a picture of one um, in our up on the screen. So if you wanted to paint it the same as the real hawksbill sea turtle, you can, or you can also use your imagination. I have some colors out in our trays here today with our tempera paint. You'll also need a big brush and a small brush and a paper towel along with a messy mat. All right, the paper towel is to wash off your brush in between colors. The water, of course, is to rinse, okay? You must, must, must rinse off your brush in between colors and wipe all the water and color off. That's really important, okay? I'm gonna start with the smaller brush and I'll start with the head. So I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of green here on my sea turtle and carefully take my time, right? Like I said, you can also use your imagination if you did want some other colors, you can let me know. Now I'm not gonna paint as much on the bottom because I don't wanna cover up my name, if you can see my name, but I can paint kind of along the edges, I'm holding it carefully as I'm painting my little friend here, holding it carefully. So I'm going around painting my cute little hawksbill sea turtle, okay. Looking pretty good. Now, if I wanna mix a little brown in here, I must wipe off my brush in between colors. So now I'm gonna whoosh, whoosh, whoosh lightly in the water. And I don't want this, this is temper paint. I don't want it any more watery than what I have, okay? So than the, what the paint already is. So I don't want it to get more water into the paint. So if I didn't wipe my brush off, it'd get all watery. So I wanna make sure it's not that watery. I'm gonna add a little brown to the green here. It's gonna cover it a little bit. And just kind of blend that in for a little bit of brown on my hawksbill sea turtle. All right, I kind of like that color there for my hawksbill sea turtle. All right, taking my time, doing my best. Filling in the spaces. Okay, there we go. I just like the layers of the green and brown. You don't have to layer yours, right? You could just paint it one color. You don't have to layer two. All right, now on the screen, it looks a little darker than it does in real life. If I did accidentally get it a little too dark than what I wanted it, here's a trick. I'm gonna wipe off my brush in between colors and jump with a little white. And then I'm gonna add Look at that, look at that color. Okay, now I'll go back and I'll just smooth that up a bit. Hmm. And wash off my brush before I dip it in the white again because it was a different color. I do like this kind of mintish green, the brown, white, and green made. <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right. Once I've got the color that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fins. I don't wanna add too many layers of paint because it's still damp. So if I did wanna add like some dots or something fun, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit first. All right, so now I'm gonna whoosh, whoosh, whoosh in the water. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the fins probably the same way I did the head, okay, with that fun color that I got on there I really like. And so I'm first adding in my green, taking my time. I can lift it up carefully, okay, and carefully using my small brush, get along the edges, okay, and carefully here, get along the edges. Okay, I'll get a little bit under, but I'm not gonna paint the whole bottom. Just get a little bit on the side. I'm not gonna paint where my name's at because then we, when it, after it dries, we won't know whose it is. So sad. Okay, 
That would be sad. Poor little sea turtle. Wouldn't know who made it. There we go. All right, I'm getting all the edges. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mine have mine go a little bit faster, and we'll catch you here in just a sec. You'll see to the part where um, I'll stop when we get to our shell. All right, here we go. Catch you in just a sec. All right, friends, I just wanted to show you something else kind of fun. So after that, the paint's a little more dry up here. So now I'm gonna take some blue and just blend it a little bit with some extra green I put on here. Just for fun, for my clay sea turtle. Kind of blend those colors together. So I put on a little extra green right before I paused our time lapse and I'm just blending it with a little bit of blue. That one kind of dried a little bit. So now I'm going to go jump back into the green, kind of blend it together, just for fun, just for fun. So then here I've got some blue-green on my sea turtle. I also kind of added some fun little marks on my sea turtle. Okay, you can add anything fun you want to yours, any other fun designs. Okay, I might do some spots on my sea turtle. Here, I might add some brown ones too on my clay sea turtle. Kind of like that, just holding my hand steady and dot, 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 dot. And dot, 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 dot. And dot, 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 dot. Okay. Ooh, cool sea turtle. Now I'm gonna add a little brown dots too. You can also use the end of your brush, so I can dip the end of my brush in a little paint. I'm only always giving my hand something to sit on, so I'm not like shaking as I'm trying to dot, but my right here is always sitting on something. So that way it has some gravity, some something to help hold on and not have my hand shake. I know I covered up my design a little bit. It's okay, I wanted to add more dots over my design. There we go. Okay. So that's looking pretty fun, awesome artists. I like my sea turtle so far. Now it's time to start with the shell. I will put the eyes in later. And so for my shell, I'm going to kind of use my, I'm going to clean off the bottom of that just by dipping it in the water cup and then wiping it off. I'm going to use a little bit of my bigger brush here. Okay. And I'm going to start with kind of a blue and green shell or maybe a little bit of brown in there too in a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the bigger brush, adding it in since it's a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll probably use the smaller brush for small details. And I'm going around getting kind of my base coat in. We're taking our time, doing our best. It's not a race. You know, notice I was doing the fins before and kind of holding it up nice. Um, now that I'm doing the shell, I'm not going to be holding it up too much just to get in some small areas. Remember, we aren't painting the bottom of the shell. Okay, we aren't going to paint the bottom of the shell because that's where our names are at. We don't want to paint over our names. Okay, there we go. We're going to come around and get a little bit there. I can see some light spots that I need to fill in. Okay, we're going to go like that. And I'm going to paint on the other side, too, over here. We'll just scoop up a little more blue, kind of add that together there. I can see some of my lines through, but I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm not going to fill some of those line designs in. Now I'm going to wash my brush off, and I'm going to scoop up, dry it off, and I'm going to go ahead and scoop up a little bit of white here. Kind of just do one quick layer before I get more white and scoop up some more. We'll find out why in a second. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna pull some of the blue from around the edge into this part, because it hasn't dried yet. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of come around the edge of mine too for a fun, lighter blue. Okay. That's looking kind of fun right there. A little bit of an ombre effect. There we go. I'm gonna get the other side too, like that. 
Okay. If I want it lighter, I can add some more white to the top. And then I'll probably add one more layer of dark blue too for my fun sea turtle. I'm gonna add a little bit of white up to the top as well. There we go, I did wash it off before I did that. Okay, I do like how that's looking, my fun, cute sea turtle. I'm gonna do one more dark blue edge with my small brush now. So up here like that, and I'm just gonna come around and blend some of those edges together. All right, awesome artists. I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding some designs on this fantastic sea turtle. We'll catch you in just a sec. All right, so I got all the dots the way I like them. And I'm gonna wash off my small brush and I'll add a little black for the eyes. If you wanna add in your smile, you can too. I kinda did a little pointillism here with all these little dots. Um, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the eyes, okay? I wanted to fill them in all the way. So I got a good amount on my brush and being careful as I hold this together. I'm letting my arm rest on my other arm like that and I can come around and help you if you need help and then I'll put my little smile in. My cute little sea turtle smile. Look at that. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, um, if I did want to add any more dots and I wanted to add a few more with black, I could. However, I think mine's pretty full of dots. Okay, so looking pretty fun. Swimming along, our fun designed sea turtle. Bye guys, catch you later. All right, bye.